Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to the channel. So on Sunday, I brought you that breaking news. Thomas Atepati has been named the captain of the Ghana Black Stars, and he is a vice captain actually of the Ghana Black Stars. First guy, vice captain, captain uh, still remains Andre Ayu. Uh, I'm going to bring you the reaction today of Asamoa Jan, his representative, that's a name Ado, and also the reaction of Thomas Tepati by his PR of Samuel Ziga. He posted the message and our appreciation and thank you message to the Ghana Football Association for appointing him as the first vice captain of the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, we are going to have a look at their responses. Samuajan also, his representative has said, Samuajan was never and uh, never liked the, the, the idea of general captain. And we'll delve into that. And in 2010, after Ghana's amazing progression into the quarterfinal of the uh, World Cup, uh, they went to visit a certain Nelson Mandela. He told them something quite interesting, which turned out uh, to be right for him to tell them. And I'm going to reveal to you what Nelson Mandela told the Ghana Black Stars back in 2010 uh, when they met him in uh, South Africa ahead of their clash with Uruguay in the World Cup. 2010. As usual, subscribe, click on the notification bell, select all notifications to get everything that I talk about here on the channel. So, we all know on Sunday the Ghana Black Stars already uh, we have had issues with captaincy and everything. And it was put to bed on Sunday when the management committee, the technical staff, and everyone settled on who the captain and the vice captain of the Ghana Black Stars would be for the upcoming possible friendlies in october and uh, the african cup of nations qualifiers in november uh, it was settled on that captain would now uh, be ghanian player andrea Yu maintained after good with he appointed him as the captain ahead of the afcon 2019 and the first vice captain would be thomas atay party and the second vice captain would be richard ofori the goalkeeper numero uno and now following that there has been some reaction by both the public and also the players involved in these call-ups in terms of leadership and thomas party's representative samuel ziga has brought out a message thanking the gfa for this appointment of him as the vice captain and now he posted this on his twitter handle and thanking the gfa for this opportunity to be named the vice captain of the ghana black stars and now thomas party we all know has been a person of interest in europe across the world for teams like arsenal and co this is the appreciation message he posted on his handle he says uh, that it is a big honor to be chosen for this position in the national team now thanks to the technical team for making me one of the leaders of our beloved national team i will keep working hard help this great football nation now, congrats to my colleagues andrea you and richard Ofori as well together we stand god bless our homeland ghana thomas party five so that was thomas party's thank you reaction uh, to uh, the appointment as uh, the vice captain of the ghana black stars and we hope he does well in the stead and many people are happy that we are progressing um, from um, Asama Jan, who was the former captain, with all due respect to Asama Jan and his amazing achievements for the Ghana Black Stars, nothing can be taken away from him by that. Uh, but uh, the reaction to has come from his camp. Many, many of you were thinking uh, we rightly so needed to move on from Asama Jan, and also Thomas Party was by all stretch, by all means, our best player, and possibly. He deserved even to be the captain more than anyone else. Uh, vice captain is right enough, though. And so, Asamajan's camp also reacted. Now, Asamajan's camp, represented by Enim Adu, he doubles as uh, the business manager of S. Well, Captain Asamajan, and also his manager, personal one. Now, on the eve of the African Cup of Nations in 2019, then coach of the Black Stars decided to strip Chan of the captain Sambad. Now, instead of Kwesia Pia, instead, coach Kwesia Pia handed the captaincy to Andrea Yu. Now, Samajan was handed a new designation as a general captain of the team 
something which his manager Amy Mado says he was never pleased with but out of love and respect for the nation he decided to play at the AFCON. He said Asamoajan has held successful meetings with the Black Stars Management Committee. The Asamoajan camp has never liked the idea of a general captain. And there is no way he was going to wear the armband when he isn't the captain anymore. But due to his love for Ghana, he returned to play for the team on the request of the president and other top officials, even when he announced his retirement. In him, Ado, he formed on Sunday. The GFA confirmed Andrea Ayu has retained the captaincy uh, with Richard Fori and Thomas Party as his deputy. So there was no way. Asamajan was going to accept that general captain role. In a way, the second vice captain can be said to be still the general captain. That is Richard Ofori. Uh, just a change uh, to the title is all it has happened here. So you have it there. Asamajan was not going to play if he was not wearing the armband. I think this is quite unfortunate from an experienced player. Uh, but it's everyone's personal opinion everyone has uh, their decisions they take and you can't fault them for taking what is in their best interest at the end of the day it's everyone's life but that is what his manager is saying and i think it represents the actions of asamajan to some extent and uh, his camp never liked the idea of a general captain i myself don't like the idea of a general captain it's like shoehorning a position for someone based on their longevity in the team we have players who are very old in a team but are not even captains and are not bothered um i have never liked the idea of a general captain so much i never liked the idea and he had planned on not wearing the if he was not going to wear the amber and he was not going to play for the Ghana black stars and uh, talks allowed him to come back convincing allowed him to come back i think though personally i think it's quite unfortunate uh, i just hope and pray that a Samoajan gives the Black Stars one last hurrah. He has to understand that he was never going to be captain forever and make do with it. If he doesn't want to play, nothing, no problem there. But moving forward, he is not going to be awarded any leadership position in the Ghana Black Stars. And that has been made quite clear since Sunday. I'm sure he was consulted and the general captain position that probably they wanted to make official on him was not something he was eager about but let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this statement by Samoajan's management team member my final story has to do with the world cup in 2010 now the 2010 world cup uh, has been one which is very fond in the memories of many guardians this year marks 10 years since uh, that world cup took place now in the lead up to the game against uruguay the black stars paid a visit uh, to that amazing human being nelson mandela and it has been revealed here what nelson mandela told them in that visit uh, now the team called on former south african president nelson mandela after their dramatic qualification to the quarterfinal which came as a result of a suspect to pendus asamajan strike he was about falling down and he caught up and smacked it into the back of the net now little was said about the behind the scenes conversation that ensued between mandela and the black stars now 10 years after that historic meeting uh, lee adi a member of that team has revealed what mandela told the team he was interviewed on city tv and he said nelson mandela told us that what will happen and it happened we visited him and he informed us that while in south africa we should consider it as our land. He then warned us that while we have the support of the entire continent, we need to be careful because what is rightfully ours will be taken away and handed to the Caucasians. And that is what happened. The penalty that was awarded to us was a favor to them. True to Mandela's words, the Black Stars, according to some people, were unfairly treated by the referee in the game against Uruguay. As a ball, that they believe crossed the line before being palmed away by Suarez was adjured to be a penalty instead of a goal. Wow. That penalty as someone John could not score, which sends the game to a shootout. Ghana's poor record. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop reading this right now. Um I I don't know if you guys remember that that game clearly, but I have to be honest, I don't think the ball crossed the line. I don't know maybe I have to watch it again but I don't think the ball crossed the line and once again 
we had a chance of a penalty. This is just because of the benefit of hindsight. Imagine if Asamajan had scored. He had the opportunity to score from 12 yards and he didn't. Why can't we put that to bed? Why can't we put that to bed? Yes, probably there were some few decisions that could have gone our way and that the referee was biased. But to say that the ball had crossed the line and because of that uh, the ensuing penalty, instead of putting the blame there, you are blaming it on the referee for not giving a goal. Oh, that's a stretch in my opinion. That's a stretch. Uh, that is a stretch. Now, it, it, it really is a stretch because I don't think the referee was extremely or overly biased in any way, if my memory serves me right and I stand to be corrected. But I think blaming this loss on the referee would be wrong in all respect. If, if, if you remember that World Cup in 2010, England Lampard, Lampard scored a goal and equalized against Germany. That had wholly crossed the line, several replays showed. And that was the reason why goal line technology and VAR were pushed by Seth Blatter at the time and Gianni Infantino. He said they will not sit there once again and have a goal like that disallowed by a referee. I think that was even more clear cut than our own. The ball hadn't crossed the line in my opinion. I don't think that was it. I don't think Lee Adi should have said this. I don't think it's right. But let me know your thoughts. What are you re your, your remembers? How do you remember that game? How do you remember? Did the ball cross the line before Suarez palmed it out? Let me know what you think in the comments box. So, so Hata has been it for today. Asamoa Jan and Thomas Partey reacting to the captaincy issues, the new captaincy positions. And also Liadi revealing what Nelson Mandela told them ahead of the World Cup quarterfinal against Uruguay in 2010. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.